All right. I am getting ready to talk about these Eagles. No, I'm not going to talk about the Eagles. I'm not going to talk about the Eagles, but I'm going to share the stream. What's going on, folks? Everybody that's coming in super early. How you doing? Uh, CES 2018. Let's talk about it. That is what we're going to talk about in the stream. So uh, let's hang out. Let's chat. Let's do this. What is up, folks? CES 2018 was the bomb. Anybody out there? Oh, man. Okay, there are some people here. What's going on, guys? I guess the screen didn't refresh. What's up, folks? My um, stream has started, and uh, I'm happy to have everyone here. What is going on? Uh, let's see here. What's up, man? What's going on? Shout out to everybody that's joining in. What's going on? Dilly Dilly. <laughs> Grant, what's up, Grant? Grant says Dilly Dilly. <laughs> Those commercials trip me out, man. <laughs> they crazy. Yeah, the Eagles, man, the Eagles, by the skin of their teeth, man, they they pulled that up, man. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. How's the audio? Everything should be good. I did a sound check earlier, so everything should be good. What's going on? Let's talk about CES. You can ask me anything about CES, and I'll tell you if I got to play with it. Um... I tell you if I, um, I got. I'm gonna have to keep my glasses on. I can barely see. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about CES. Um, might even take some phone calls tonight, and uh, get this thing popping. I'd love to hear from you guys. Wasn't gonna do a live stream tonight, but decided to just jump on. You know, um, I was geared up all the way. I was geared up, uh, but <laughs> I was, I, I, I was geared up. I was geared up, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. I'm rock with my boy Wentz. He'll, he'll be back soon. Um, let's see here. CES, man. Um, wow, there was a whole bunch that went on with CES, and uh, I'm, I'm super excited that I got a chance to go again. Special thank you to ZTE for uh, taking care of me on my channel, man, and you know, just uh, doing the doggone thing, man, helping your man Jay Will stay alive on YouTube. They have definitely been a big asset to to me um especially with ces man they have they 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 really taken care of, they're really taking care of me so i appreciate it special thank you to zte um samer eric amy peter all you guys you guys probably don't know who those guys are but they're the ones behind closed doors making things happen so shout out to those guys uh right there so uh wow i'm gonna look at some questions and you can put your questions in the in the stream if you want to um, and, uh, we'll go ahead and try to answer as many of them as, as I can. Again, total spirit of the moment, wasn't planning on streaming, but I was in such a good mood with these Eagles taking, take, they bear, I'm not going to front. They barely got by, you know, uh, Foles, he, he going to have to do better, man. He stay in the pockets. He stays in the pocket too long. He's holding on. He's not, you know, Wentz is six, eight, you know what I'm saying? So he can maneuver and get around and smash a few folks, but man, Foles got to, he got to put in work or, you know, we're not going to survive. He, he got to get out that pocket. Anyway, man, let's talk tech. Let's talk tech. Axon eight rumors. Okay. So I look in the, I look in the chat. That's the first thing I see. I know there's probably other questions prior to that, but the chat is going very fast for me st streaming on my side. It probably looks like it's going slow for you, but so Axon eight razor phone. I see some things about that. Uh, project Linda from the razor phone. I got a chance uh, to look at project Linda. I talked about that in another video. Um, you know, Razer with the with the uh the laptop thing, the dock, you know, uh, you know, I, you know, it's a good idea, it's a good concept. It's not something that we haven't seen before. Uh, but the thing is, is that gonna take off? How much are gonna be asking for? If you remember, there there have been plenty of tablets with phones that slide into it that turns into a full tab. You could use the internet from I don't know how that's gonna play out, man. I don't know how that's gonna play out. It is definitely sweet, hands down. It's a really good, a good looking device. But I don't know how long or how well that's going to play out. I, I really don't. So um, I'm not even going to front and say that I, I think it's going to do fantastic because I, I, I don't know. 
Um, I really hope that it, it does does well. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that uh, Razor can capitalize on that venture. A lot of people have tried that and it didn't go so well. Uh, but, you know, you got to step out there and you got to venture out and you've got to um, take a chance. And, and that's what Razor is doing uh, with, with that device for sure. They're definitely taking a chance with the laptop thing, man. That's that's a huge wow. That that's big. Uh, so, um, you know, I'm hoping that, uh, man, I got four thumbs down. Forget y'all haters. Bounce, man. Why y'all come to my stream and find my video? I don't care. <laughs> you can, I can have 81 thumbs down. I don't care. I'll still keep talking. So shout out to everybody. Everybody give a thumbs up to the, to the haters that stopped by real quick. We love y'all. Keep on coming by. We appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? We, we have to have you guys come by every now and then. So shout out to the haters. You are definitely motivation and we appreciate you. So, uh, go Eagles. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep doing it like that. <laughs> oh, man. We love you guys. We love you haters. We got to keep you guys in the know. Yes, we appreciate the haters, man. We, we love you. And we have to keep you guys on board. So some of you got real quick before I talk about some of the CES stuff. Um, uh, when I was streaming at CES, YouTube now, when you stream, it seems to be limiting you if you're on a smartphone to 360p that has absolutely nothing to do with me you know so some people were saying that you know jay you know why are you streaming in 360p that has nothing to do with me i totally streamed at the full resolution but it only comes out in 360p no matter what device you're on so you know that's that's the answer to that some people were saying why am i streaming and uh you know that it's not me you know if you're on a mobile device, some I guess YouTube is now limiting it, limiting it to uh, Fly Eagles Fly. Um, shout out to Steven. Uh, they're limiting it to 360p for some reason. I have no idea why. Now, let's talk about some of the things at CES, man. So, if you're wondering about the ZTE booth and why, I visited the ZTE booth. I didn't record any footage because those phones, they're really nice and you're going to want them. And I was like, you know what? Plus, some of them, uh, they did. They kind of did what some other OEMs do. They bring out all their phones, whether they're coming to the U.S. or not. The footage that I did record, I was like, well, you know, they've seen these phones before. So I'll just, you know, uh, I got some things coming up from ZTE, though. So you, you, you don't have to worry about that. You'll be pleased with ZTE. So um, ZTE did have their 5G on display uh, up there at CES. It was totally awesome. I think you guys would have really enjoyed that. Um, did anybody in this stream go to CES by chance? The Project Linda seemed, this is from Grant, the Project Linda seemed like one of those uh, most, one of the most overhyped things at CES. You know, I got to agree, Grant. People were pumping that up and they were saying it's just the best and this is just amazing. But we've seen this before, right? We've seen it with other companies and it didn't do well with them. So Razer is going to try their stab at it by doing a full laptop with it. I hope it succeeds, um, but I just don't foresee that taking off because ultimately what they're trying to get you to do is buy into them, and that's more money you'll spend, and you're pretty much going to be stuck with the devices because, you know, that's what it is. Um, so, you know, Razer, I hope they do well. Um, I, I hope that they succeed in their venture with that laptop slash phone combo. It is something that we've seen before. And it's, you know, if they do it right, you'll know if they do it right because everybody will jump on the bandwagon and, and start doing it. So that's what it is. Um, Sony. Sony at CES. Wow. Now, I only put up a... This year, for if you notice, this year, my CES... Oh, my gosh. CES coverage was different. I didn't do any of the live footage from the event like I like I did the year before because I definitely learned it I want to give you guys a more steady flow of videos and so I recorded a bunch of b-roll then when I got back to the lab I did the uh, a-roll so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the short clippets that I put up you know I put up a bunch of short clippets uh, for you guys and just talked and tell you told you my first impressions of it but Sony uh, what's going on with Sean I see you Sony uh, Sony brought it. Now, I put up short clips of their stuff, but let me tell you, uh, what's going on, uh, Carlos Brown? I see Sony, the booth over at Sony, 
was packed. Um, a lot of people were at the Sony booth this year. They brought the thunder. They actually, people are excited. I've got some good news about Sony, and I've got some not so great news. So you want your veggies first, or do you want your, your cake first? You want your dessert or your cake? Or <laughs> you want your dessert or your veggies first? And then I'll give you the uh, I'll give you what I consider to be good and bad news. So which one do you want? Veggies first. Okay, you want the veggies first. So the <laughs> the veggies first. <laughs> the veggies the, the the not so great part of it is the price of uh, the new Sony devices, man. It's 450 and 350. The XA2 Ultra is 450. It's 450. For a 32 gig with a Snapdragon 630. To me, um, that's a veggie. That's that's not too good. Um, I don't I don't feel like I can go ahead and pull up um, uh, 450 plus tax. That's almost 500 for me. Uh, shout out to the super chats that are coming in. Uh, the cuddle, the cuddling, I, I can't even pronounce your name. Who won the giveaway on Twitter? I haven't announced it yet. You're talking about for the White Stone Dome for the Galaxy Note 8. I haven't I haven't announced it yet. Thank you. Um, Sony, I'm I'm totally a, a Sony fan, but the Ultra, the XA Ultra, two, four fifty before taxes. Wow, those are my veggies. I didn't think it was gonna uh, come out to that. Shout out to uh, David Bond. I see. Um, man, yeah, Floss, that's my man. I didn't get a chance to hang out with Floss this year. Um, four fifty plus tax is almost five hundred for me. That's a bit high for the Snapdragon six thirty. This inside, the rest of the hardware, the I would for four fifty. Um, I would definitely love the uh four gigs of RAM and thirty two gigs on or sixty two sixty four gigs on board storage. Uh, the Snapdragon 630 is a good good processor, but f 450, uh, it's, it's getting up there. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. And then the smaller version of that, the XA2, it costs 350. So you kind of got to do the math. You know, you know, the pricing for me was the only thing that I could see that I wasn't so happy about. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, the great part about it. You know, shout out to everybody in the stream, man. I appreciate you guys joining in. Uh, the great part about it is the entire device was great to me. Sony was getting so much love uh, at CES this year. It's unreal. It is unreal. I went to the Sony booth three times. I mean, I just kept going back over there. I was like, wow, man. The the XA Ultra and the XA the XA2 um, Ultra and uh, the small one, the XA2, I can guarantee you get your hands on both of those phones. You're gonna be happy. You'll be happy with with what you with what you come out with. Um, I can't even tell you that that phone is those those phones are hot. Those phones are hot. Uh, I don't have a Patreon because I don't feel like people should have to. Um, I, I really just I really just do it. I don't I don't really do. I'm answering a question uh, from Lashes for Ashes. I closed my Patreon because I felt like uh, if you want to donate, you can do it if you want to. I'm going to keep the videos coming. I appreciate the support, but I'm not going to make a person do a monthly donation from their credit card or whatever it is. I just want to have fun with this thing, man. So if you want to donate, those donation links down below, I, I think they're down below, or you can hit the uh, Super Chat. I just put the money back into the to the uh, channel, man. So I, I don't have a Patreon anymore. I closed it. I just didn't feel comfortable asking people for money for something that I, I'm doing on, as a as a fun thing for a passion, you know, for, for a kind of a, a really good um, hobby. So, um, I just don't, I don't feel comfortable like asking for it that way, you know, making a person, you know, telling the person, you know, like sign up, you know, I, I don't know. I can't do it. I, I tried it for a little bit and I was like, eh, I don't think I want to do that. Anyway, the Sony joint, man, the Sony joint is nice. The fact that they put the fingerprint back on there for the U S it's on the back of the phone. I would have liked something kind of snazzy, you know what I'm saying? Like in the fingerprint reader or something like that. I, I don't know. I would have. I would have liked something like that, but the fact that they have, uh, uh, you know, the fingerprint reader at all. Let me get my my gangsta on tonight, hip hop hip hop preacher. You know what I mean, 
<laughs> um, the fact that they have uh, a fingerprint reader at all, I'm feeling it. Now, as far as the colors go, I like that silver and I like that blue. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to try to go ahead and get the XA2 Ultra or the XA2. I'm just feeling the device itself. I'm feeling it, but that price, I'm not really feeling it. But that blue one and that silver one, yeah, that's those are boss. The, the XA Ultra, the XA2, these names, man, the XA2 Ultra is a hot phone, folks. Like I said, for me, the only problem was the price. And I'm hoping that if, it's kind of bad, but... If we don't buy it, they'll eventually drop drop down the price of it. Shout out to Jersey in the house. I see you. Jersey, Philly, New York, where y'all at? I see you. Florida. Yeah. So hopefully the price drops and then we'll be jumping. We'll be tight because then we can just bang it out. Shout out to Donovan. I see all you, all you YouTubers in the house. I see you. I see you, Donovan. Uh, Donovan says, thanks for the recommendation on the SL2. Yes, I'm, I'm rocking with the SL2. This is the front camera on my MacBook Pro, my 2017 MacBook Pro. I recently picked that up before I went to CES, so I decided to go ahead and uh, use this for my streams. I bought this just for streaming and editing on the go. And uh, what's up, Anthony Flanagan? I see you. Florida in the house. I see you. California, man. I've been to California plenty of times back when I was in the military and stuff and traveling. But Sony Sony brought brought the thunder, man. Corpus Christi. Oh, man. Shout out to Corpus Christi. Um, what's going on, Jay Boogie? I see you. But, man, uh, Ken. Ken Gooden Jr. I see you, man. Donovan, everybody say what's up, and congratulations to Donovan, by the way, for hitting 10K. Um, Donovan rocked out 10K. Congrats, Donovan, and congrats on that SL2. You're going to love that camera, man. I picked up the Nifty 50, the generic version. I took a bunch of photos with that, and, I, and before I told everybody what it was, um, everybody was like, man, that camera, that, was, that lens is sweet. But then they realized it was that Young Joe version, a Young New or whatever, for $48. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good lens. So, Donovan, make sure you grab that 50 millimeter, man. You'll love it for some good shots. But Sony, man, they did it. They did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sony, the small version, I actually like it. The big version is nice. Sony, Sony catches a lot of hate for the bezels on their phones. Um, but Sony was the first to kind of bring that edge-to-edge -edge display. Let's be honest here. Let's keep it real. Um, Sony was the first one to actually bring that bezel-less display. I, I, if you say no to that, they was one of the first. Um, I can't officially say that they were the first, but I will say that they were one of the first. They were one of the first. Yeah, they were one of the first. So, um, uh, <laughs> Donovan says, yeah, I watched it. I bought it. I bought this. Uh, I bought the $128, $125 Canon version. Yeah, it's just as good, man. So, you got time to do that exchange if you want to, but Keep it, you know, if you want to keep it, keep it. You know, I hate doing returns and stuff like that, but talking about that lens, man, that, that lens I got, it's just fire. I'm telling you, it, it, it is hot, man. But Sony, man, you know, the small one is hot. You know what I'm saying? I think Sony did a great job at, at CES. I applaud Sony for listening to their customers and bringing back the fingerprint reader. But what I don't like is they're, brick, they're, they're jacking that price up. Like every iteration that they do, they're jacking that price up. Whether it be fifty, a hundred, it, it it technically went up fifty dollars. All right, so it used to be two ninety nine. Then the next year it went to three ninety nine. Now it's at four fifty. So they're slowly but surely bumping that price up. But unless it's a Snapdragon eight thirty five or something in there, or at least a Snapdragon eight twenty one, I can't rock with it for four fifty. If you see it on the channel, I got some um uh some serious discounts on it. Uh, Rich Reed, Colorado in the house, U.S. Uh, Army Air Force retired. I understand the retirement, sir. United States Army retiree right here. So I'm hollering. I'm, I'm there with you. So check this out. Um, um, sh oh, shout out to Gadget Beer, man. Me and him, uh, he was out there at CES. He rolled around out there. Yeah, he rolled around out there. He did his thing out there. First go around at CES. I'm pretty sure he's going to tell you it was overwhelming. <laughs> Everybody who goes out there for the first time, I try to tell him, yo, this is... It's not like what you think. It's not like what you see on TV. You see everybody skating around, shooting video. You see all the coverage and the footage and everything. That's a madhouse out there, man. CES is a madhouse. You got to get. You gotta pace yourself. And uh, shout, out, shout out that bumpy cam. You got to pace yourself. And uh, you got to make sure that 
You try to get as much footage as you can. Now, every year, if you don't know, now, Gadget Beard, if you do go to CES next year, the booths might be set up all different because whoever's got that money, they're going to get up first. They're going to get up in the front of the buildings, like Central Hall and the South Building. They'll be out in front. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to visit the Xiaomi booth because Xiaomi was over in the Venetian. And I was like, man, I'm not catching no bus over there or walking way down. It's, it's, it's impossible to walk that far. I wouldn't need a car or a bus. And I was like, I'm not leaving the main building is to go over to the Venetian just to see Xiaomi. So unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to visit Xiaomi. I really wanted to. I really wanted to get my hands on the Mi Mix 2, but I couldn't. So I couldn't do it. But look, I'm glad I got to uh, check out Sony, and I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, shout out to all the Super Chats, man. I appreciate you guys uh, banging them out. I respect that. Uh, yeah, and it was raining, too, for a little while while we were there. It was it was kind of crazy, man. It got sunny right when we was going to leave. I'm like, wow, y'all serious right now? So, um, yeah, so let's talk about the BlackBerry Motion. I left my key one upstairs, but um, the BlackBerry Motion. Wow. Wow. I kind of hated on the BlackBerry Motion before I got my hands on it, but you guys know me. If you've been following me for a long time, you know, I come back and say, hey, my bad. And I'm about to say it right now, my bad. I really love my key one. But that BlackBerry Motion, oh my gosh, that BlackBerry Motion is hot. It's fire, man. And, you know, some things you just got to get them in your hand, and then you'll you'll have a new respect for it. I'm telling you, some people already have the Motion. The Motion went on sale for uh, $450. The guy at BlackBerry told me $429 on Amazon, but it actually went up for sale for $450. Uh, and that's... Again, that's that's a pretty good price. Um, that's why I put a poll up on Twitter, BlackBerry Motion or Sony X, XA2 Ultra, and a lot of people, it's lean, it leaned towards BlackBerry, looks like. BlackBerry did their doggone thing this year, man. I kid you not. They did the doggone thing. I, I, I'd be fronting if I said that they didn't. The BlackBerry booth was on fire, too. The BlackBerry... Um, I'm scared. I look at that poll. Okay, so it didn't flop now. So it's now the poll is up like this, 57.43. <laughs> Last time I looked at that, that's what 65 votes. So if you haven't voted yet, hit over to my Twitter and uh, go ahead and uh, hit your vote up for the Ultra uh, XA2 Ultra or the BlackBerry Motion. But let me tell you, the BlackBerry Motion is hot. You know, it's fire, man. It, it is such a nice phone. It's got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in it. A Snapdragon 625, you know, pretty much the same internals processor-wise as the, the Key 1, but the build quality. Mm. The build quality. The build quality is hot. The build quality is fire. It's, it feels so much better than, than the Key 1. It's crazy. It's crazy. And the BlackBerry reps over there did a good job of explaining, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, the differences between the two and showing he let me use his personal unit too, man. So I was like, whoa, all right, that's cool. Um, he, he did his thing. He did his thing over there and he, he did, he got a, he gave a good demo, uh, of the phone and he was selling it and everybody was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to buy this, but for 429 or 449, you know, you start to push forward and you start to get up into that one plus five T, you know, and then other phones up there with, uh, technically better specs, but that doesn't mean it's the better device. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, Want to hear your review of the Pixel 2 XL. I'm, I'm grabbing me another Pixel, so you're going to have to hold tight on that. Do you think I should... This is from uh, Deonta Barber. Uh, do you think I should switch from the Note 8 to the S9 when it comes out? More like, should you switch from the Note 8 to the Note 9? You know what I mean? Um, if you like the S Pen, then you probably don't want to give up your S Pen. What's your opinion on the Alcatel K6? Uh, I haven't checked that one out yet. I still have the I have the Alcatel drone upstairs. That review's coming soon, folks. I'm working on that. I do like Chris Tucker with glasses on. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I guess. Uh, how's it going? What's going on, man? What's going on, Raymond? I see. Uh, Illinois. Yeah, I was just I was just through there. Uh, is build quality to the uh, motion over the? Okay, now build quality definitely goes to the BlackBerry Motion versus the XA2 Ultra. The XA2 Ultra is a big, chunky phone, and um, it's a whale in the hand. It's like, think of like, 
think of Nexus 6 whale type phone. Not a bad thing, you know what I mean? But um, uh, it's big and it's wieldy. You know what I'm saying? You have to two hand juggle this bad boy. Uh, shout out to oh, there he is. What's up, Albert? Yeah, man, I gotta rock with that one plus. Um, that that red joint is hot. Um, but as far as like Grant, as far as the size goes and feel in hand, the motion is killing it. The BlackBerry Motion is killing it. Uh oh, uh oh, everybody say what's up? Tech couple in the house. Tech couple in the house. They are here. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm glad to be back, man. I decided to go ahead and do a quick stream. You know, do some Q and A with the um, with the uh, CES coverage, and I had a good time out there. But as far as feeling hand, BlackBerry Motion takes it. The BlackBerry Motion feels fantastic. It looks really good in person too. Yeah. Blackberry, Blackberry Motion, that thing is hot. Uh, quick question, Jay. OnePlus 5T or Pixel 2 for $499? Ouch. OnePlus 5T. Uh, dun, 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 dun. V30 Plus, most underrated phone of 2017. Well, Phil, I got to admit, uh, the V30 is a fantastic phone. And I think the only thing that kills it, like most phones, price. You don't want to pay a whole bunch for a phone like the phone is a thousand bucks. If it's not, if it's a brand that you know some people, you know, kind of don't want to trust or feel like they have a bad experience in the past, it's just one of those things, man. People don't want to kick that bread out, man. They don't want to kick it out. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. You and Sharice are celebrating six years. We are out of time. Hey, everybody, give it up for Sharice and Corey, man, the tech couple. For real, they, they celebrate. I guess they celebrate their anniversary. Thanks for stopping by my stream for a second. I feel like VIP, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're going to take a sip of water to that. Some water. Everybody get us a drink of water, you know what I'm saying? Get a drink of water for the tech couple. Mm. That's my drink of choice. Yes. God bless y'all, man. Congratulations on six years. Y'all deserve it. Y'all a fantastic couple. I love y'all, man. I love y'all work. Y'all good people too, man. Y'all straight up good people. I think everybody like y'all. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all just good people, man. That's real talk. So also at 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 CES, well, I went to a lot of places and I got a lot of coverage. Um, but shoot some questions into the stream here and I'll I'll answer them if I can. But the the S9, man, did y'all see the leak on the S9? Uh it's it's coming. You know what I mean? Let me get right. It's coming. The the S9 is is coming in what a month, two months, something like that. Um, and I feel like these the OEMs are obviously doing what they they do what they're supposed to do, like on the third time going around. Um, how do we stop that? It's a whole nother stream. How do we stop it, man? How do we stop these big brands? From taking all our money. <laughs> all we got to do is stop buying it. That's all we got to do. How do you become a phone tester? I like questions like that. Start recording videos. That's all you got to do. That's from DB1210. Just turn your camera on, start doing reviews, giving your opinion after you use it. Yeah. Stop buying. You're right. That's the only thing we can do is stop buying. Eventually, they'll drop the prices down. Uh, and then we'll, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> LaShawn said, there's no stopping it, right? <laughs> It's, it's almost impossible. So the, the S9 with four gigs of RAM, uh, man, I don't know, man. You know, technically the Snapdragon 835 or 845 can perform on that, but why, Samsung? Why? It's a spec war, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's a spec war, and right now customers uh, are getting a little agitated, you know what I mean? Because you got companies like OnePlus that's willing to give you the specs. OnePlus, you know, as bad as I talk about OnePlus's marketing, the way they do business, you know, how they keep bringing out phones every three months, the fact is they're not bringing out slouches. They're bringing out some pretty hot phones. So I got to give my salute and hats off to OnePlus because right now the competition's looking kind of scarce. We don't want to keep spending a thousand bucks on a phone. So if OnePlus was smart, 
Give us something really good, one plus. Give us that quality she display, and then you might have my attention like full time. That might be my go-to phone, you know what I'm saying? But the Note 8, <sighs> ain't, ain't too many phones touching that Note 8 screen. It's just not going to happen. So if you have questions about CES, pop them down in the chat. I'll, I'll take a look at them and see if I can get them answered for you. Uh, <laughs> Tech couple just dropped the mic and walked off. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, LaShawn, man, they need to come on with the Quad HD, man. They're they doing them full HDs. Uh, for that, that pricing just keeps going up. Best phone under a hundred dollars. Wow, uh, that's gonna be in the moto, the low end motos, or a ZTE phone like the 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 Z Maxes and stuff like that. They're offering a heck of a lot for a hundred bucks, so you just can't beat it. Now, when you get into the two hundred dollar range, now you're getting into some trouble because let's talk about Honor for a second. I got to play with the Honor Seven X. And I told you guys, I'm not rocking with the Honor 7X until the price goes down. I know it's only 200 bucks, but it feels like something that I've already that I've already played with or used and I'm familiar with. And I stand true to that. However, when that red one drops, man, the red one is going to be fire. Valentine's Day or uh, February 8th is what they told me, but I heard it's Valentine's Day. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter. I played with the honors. I stayed at the Huawei booth. The long, I went to the Huawei booth. I went to Sony booth three times, and I went to the Huawei booth twice, but I stayed over there for maybe two or three hours total. I was loving it, man. I was playing with the Mate 10, the Mate 10 Pro, the, the Honor devices. I was playing with the um, the P10, the P20. It, it's, it's some sweet phones from Honor, man. The Honor 7X, um, you know, I can't front. It's a nice phone. It's easy to say something about a phone or a device or just anything when you don't have it. And uh, me, I'll come back and, like I said, I'll rebuttal it and come on back. And like, you know what? I should have just got it first. Uh, but the Honor 7X, cleaning my glasses, the Honor 7X, fire. It's a little sluggish at times. Uh, I skipped you. <laughs> uh, a little Jose World, Josie World, so I skipped you. Um, I don't know where I skipped you at. Chat's going really fast. Um, yo, the Honor 7X, I can recommend that phone, man. It could be a little sluggish at times. Probably I'm hearing some feedback from some people. Don't need to disclose any of that. Some people say it's not a fast blazing phone, but I think Nova Launcher could probably fix that. Um, Honor 7X is hot, man. I got to give it up. I didn't see any kind of slowdowns or stutters in it when I was using it, but that was just for an hour or two of playing with it. You know what I'm saying? So, um. Appreciate it, Joseph Erickson. Yeah, um, it it's just one of those things, man, where I would have to use it like I do my other phones for like a month or two to see if it starts to slow down. Because that's the Curin 659 or something like that, which is supposed to be comparable to the 625 or the 630. Um, how's the EMUI? Hideous UI? It's not a hideous UI. It just feels like... That's from LaShawn. Shout out to LaShawn. It just feels like... Um, it's just real familiar. That's what it is. It's real familiar. And it's it's something that um you 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 can get used to really fast. You can get used to it really fast. Do I buy my phones or do I get them for free? I buy pretty much most of the high-end phones and stuff. I pay for I have to buy all these. But most of the phones that you see uh from that are that I get through Gearbest, almost 99, 95, 95% of those are free. Um, and their review units that they send over. LG rocks with me when they do, when they want to. They send me review units. You know, ZTE sends me review units sometimes. I buy a lot of phones. I buy probably 90% um, of the phones that you see on my channel. Uh, so, LG, what's the future of LG? LG didn't bring it. You know, they, they brought it, but I was I went to their booth and was like, oh, okay, the V30. I, I see the V30 here. I already got the View 30, V30 reviewed and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lil Josie World said, I wanted to know about ZTE uh, Max Pro going to get an update soon. I have no clue, man. I, I don't know if ZTE is going to update their phone. I don't know. You just have to keep looking out for it, man. I, I assume you have that phone. I mean, I mean, but my thing is, as long as your phone is working, why do you have to have the... I know you want to get a few new features, but... As long as it's working, don't waste your time following the tabloids and the gossip lines. 
feeling like you have to get the latest update just because it's there. This is my opinion on it. Uh, is the uh, Android stud is the Mate 10 Pro uh, was seven ninety nine? It's it's really seven ninety nine, and it's supposed to be a one hundred fifty dollar coupon or something like that. All right, Grant, take care, man. Uh, it's supposed to be a one hundred and fifty dollar coupon or something like that. Yeah, it's I don't I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, now the Honor View Ten, uh, Honor Seven X is um. Obviously, one ninety nine. They have a bunch of promos. You know what I mean. So that's a good look. Um, but the Honor View Ten is four ninety nine. Now I don't know if that's for um, the one twenty eight gig. Okay, so when I was, the one I was playing with at, at, at CES, all the ones on display uh, are one hundred twenty eight gig models. Now I don't know. Six gigs of RAM too. I don't know if that's going to be. I mean, think about that. Nine, nine Kieran nine seventy, six gigs of RAM, sixty four or one twenty eight gigs. That's killer. So the ones that see yes were one twenty eight. So I don't know if those are going to be four ninety nine, and then the sixty four gig is going to be three ninety nine. But if that's the case, ah, uh, they get ready to kill it, man. The View Ten is going to take off and sell like hotcakes amongst the tech community and probably the other regular consumers. Yeah. Uh, we need more IR blasters. I somewhat agree. I don't really. I use mine a little bit. Uh, what's the better camera, Z Max Pro or is Blade Z Max? One's not that much better than the other. I give it to the Z Max by a smidgen. Just to wipe it off, you know what I'm saying? Because an update can fix anything. Uh, uh, Mate 10 Pro unboxing tonight from Donovan. Shout out to Donovan. Uh, how do you feel about smartwatches? Love smartwatches, man. I just don't like uh, the pricing of smartwatches, and, and they're not as useful when they cost a thousand bucks. But when they cost a hundred to two hundred, then they're very useful. I don't want to pay more than two fifty for a smartwatch. And uh, ZTE has got the most premium smartwatch ever, man. That that watch is sweet, man. Unfortunately, they dropped the ball with it, or I can't say they dropped the ball, but a ball was dropped, and it was only available on T-Mobile, which was a total downer. Not to say T-Mobile is a bad company. Uh, it's just that other people wanted it and you couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Uh, I got you, Donovan. Hey, all right, I got you. Uh, best place to sell used phones: Swapple or Craigslist. If you want, if you want your money right away, rock out with, with Craigslist. You're gonna take a huge cut in money. You know, people be trying to negotiate, but you get your cash right away. You know what I'm saying? You get your cash right away. You still waiting on the ZT watch? <laughs> Man, LaShawn, all right, all right, got you. Uh, I know we're talking about CES. Do you care about NBC? Yeah, I care about NWC. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's a, lot good, a lot of good things going on. More of all kinds, good, yeah. What about smartwatches on Amazon for about 30 bucks? As long as it works, I mean, if it works and it does, if it, it gives the functionality of what you need, rock with it. Um, yeah, Z Quartz is a, a beast of a smartwatch. It's, I think it's the best Smartwatch that you can get right now, man. If you can still find one, I got mine. I mean, it's a premium build hardware, and if you can get a band like mine, I got a premium band. It's like people think that watch costs nine hundred bucks. I'm like, nah, man. This is this is a regular. This is a smartwatch. Um, where did you buy your uh, Z Max Pro or not Z Max Pro? Your Mate Ten Pro from uh, Donovan? Because I see it's only up for pre order, from what I saw on Best Buy. It's only it's only on pre order. It's not even available yet. Did you get it on a? Did you get it on a like a Craigslist or something? Only thing I see is seven ninety nine. It's on. It says notify me. Oh eBay, you got it from eBay. Oh heck yeah, no nah, man. I, I don't. I, I try to limit myself on what I buy from eBay because I always seem to have a problem with eBay, man. It's it's um it's unbelievable how bad my experience is with eBay. It's horrible. It's, it's amazing how bad my experience is on, on on for eBay. It's unbelievable. Oh, he got it on Swappa. It's the British version. Okay. Yeah, the Mate 10 Pro is on eBay for $785, $799, 7 I'm not really feeling the Mate 10 Pro. I, I'm more in line with the Mate 10. Uh, the, I mean, I like the blue version of the Mate 10 Pro. I don't like the price. And so when you compare the, the Mate 10 Pro to the Honor View 10, the Honor View 10 is the better purchase because you're getting the same internals. I mean, you got six gigs of RAM 
128 gig model in the in the View 10, and it's an actual device that's coming out in the U.S. Why would I buy the Mate 10 Pro? 499 versus 799, and you're getting the same phone? That doesn't make any sense, at least not to me. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not saying you made a bad purchase or anybody made a bad purchase. I'm talking about for me, I wouldn't buy the... I wouldn't buy the Mate 10 Pro over the View 10 because you get the same internals and they pretty much look alike. Performances, when I played with both of them for a long time, performance was actually about the same. Yeah, I've seen it for 785. Yeah, you can if you can get it on swap for less, man, definitely get it for a lot less. I definitely would I still wouldn't choose the um I just wouldn't choose that anything over the 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 Honor View 10. I just couldn't do it, man. The Mate 10 Pro is too close. It's, it's too much like the... Um, it's pretty much... The, the, the Mate 10 Pro and the, the View 10 are the same, man. They released... Uh, one release in... Uh, the Mate 10 Pro released last year in November. And the, the View 10 releases this year in January. But... They're pretty much the same, man. Yeah, I the the you get a six inch screen on the the Mate 10 Pro. It's AMOLED, so you do get a better screen more than likely. But you get a six inch screen on, on the View 10. They both 1080p. They both run an Android Oreo. They both have six gigs of RAM with 128 gigs. Um, I don't I don't know. You you get the you get the cameras, the 12 megapixel cameras. With a 20 on the back and on the, the the Mate 10 Pro, but you get a 16 and a 20 uh, on, on the Honor View 10, and I, I use both of them. I didn't see that much difference, but on the Honor View 10, you get a 13 megapixel on the front. On the Mate 10 Pro, you get an 8 megapixel. So I don't I don't know what Huawei was doing or Honor, excuse me. I don't know what they got these guys are doing. Um, but I mean, you get a 3750 battery in the View 10. And a 4000 in the Mate 10 Pro. I don't know what they were doing, like when they were making these phones. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking, but you know. And I will say this: the Mate 10 Pro definitely looks better. The Mate 10 Pro doesn't have a 2K display; it has a 1080p display. The Mate 10 has a 2K display. The Pro doesn't. The Pro only has a 1080p display. So, I shot the gadget beard. The the Pro only has a 1080p display. The regular Mate 10 has a 2K display, and I like that one better than the um, than the view, but the, then the uh, Mate 10 Pro because not because of the 2K display, but the form fact that 16 by 9, it's like I'm getting a much bigger screen. Yeah, Don. Yeah, you're right. It has a 1080p display. It doesn't have a 2K display. Um, what do I think about the new BlackBerry? I already talked about that, Anthony. So. Catch it on the replay, sir. Uh, I already got rid of X charged. Global version. Do you think we will see a 4K resolution for smartphone displays make a comeback in 2018? The 4K displays can't make a comeback because they're not really here. There's they're they're not officially launched. Um, you know they they're they're not on enough devices. Only only Sony did that. I mean so. And only Sony's known for for that right now. Um, it can't make a. It's no need for to try to say it's gonna make a comeback. It hasn't even really gotten started yet. And now the reason I say that is because until until LG does it, HD, uh, uh, HTC, LG, HTC, Samsung, Apple. Until any of those guys do it, it's a, it's irrelevant to the tech world. And I'm not saying that's what I believe. I'm just saying that's the way people feel about it. You know, you know. If, if, if a bunch of people aren't doing it across the board, that's just a good example would be 18 by 9 if it flops. And then, you know, people, then you make some kind of comeback from that. But, you know, yeah, no. 18 by 9 is doing good. There's no 4K displays out there, but just Sony. So, um, I did play with the Mate 10 Pro for a while. And I did use the Mate 10 and of those two, I definitely prefer the Mate 10. The form factor of the Mate 10, really nice. 
I just couldn't see myself spending 800 bucks for the Mate 10 Pro. And the View 10 is pretty much the same. And then also you can go ahead and grab the Mate 10. I, I just can't see it. I can't see it. I don't, I don't see it happening. The Mate 10 is a sweet phone. I use it in person. It's pretty much all screen, man. It is all screen. And you can grab that on, on, on eBay, $5.99 right now, easy. I'm looking at the price, and you can grab it for $5.99, easy. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. You can, you can get that phone for $5.99. I think that's a much better... A uh, much better deal than a lot than the other than the Mate 10 Pro. Watching on the watching from the MA1. Yo, the the Xiaomi Mi A1. Whoo! Hot phone, man. Hot phone, hot phone, man. It is hot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that phone. For I'm, I'm on Oreo, so I, mean, I know you're on Oreo too. The Mate 10 is 16 by nine. Yes, Donovan, it is. The Mate 10. It's not coming to the U.S., but it's a global phone. So I talked to uh, Huawei. I talked to. I was talking to some of the PR teams when I was out there, and because um, I, I, I wanted to talk to the people that actually matter. Not to say the people that the booth didn't matter, but if I'm trying to make moves, I'm trying to get some questions answered. I talked to a lot of PR people out there, and um, you know, the Mate 10 is such a beautiful phone, man. And it's a global phone. And I was told that... Now, what they told me was they said, wherever you buy it from, eBay, Amazon, whatever, all of them are going to work in the U.S. But it's up to you to check your bands and everything. Just make sure you're buying the right one. Make sure you're buying the right one. Because I see it. The lowest I see it now is $5.99 with free shipping. That's an amazing. It's only only two colors are left, blue and black. But yeah, it's, the Mate 10 to me... Is the pick. I would rather have the Mate 10 than the Mate 10 Pro. And then I would also rather have the View 10 over the Mate 10 Pro. But the 16 by 9 ratio on the Mate 10, man, I'm slowly but surely, man, I'm so I'm, I'm ready to pull that trigger. I'm ready to pull that trigger. Shout out to um Techzilla, man. He bought it, he bought it like three months ago or however long he's had it, man. <laughs> he's had it for a long time. He told me to buy it back then. The Mate 10 is smaller than the Mate 10 Pro, uh, but it's got a six-inch display. Uh, it's a quality display. It's 16 by 9. It is it is hot. Uh, the Mate 10 display, uh, shout out to the Axon 1. Uh, the Mate 10 display next to the Mate 10 Pro, I really can't tell the difference, man. They're both nice. Now, I know you're talking about AMOLED versus uh, LCD. Uh, IPS LCD, it, they both look good because a lot of the Huawei devices with those screens look like AMOLED. Oh, excuse me, folks. <sighs> they look like AMOLED. But that 1440p, that's a win-win. Donovan, I'm kind of curious, why didn't you pick up the Mate 10 Pro? I mean, I mean the Mate 10. Why did you pick the Pro over the Mate 10? I guess there's your own reasoning, but you got the Honor 7X too, right? I believe you do. The Honor 7X is hot. But, um... Yes. Shout out to the Eagles. Pulled it off just barely. Wow, I didn't know Walmart was selling the Mate 10. Let's go over to let's go over to Walmart.com and see if they got the Mate. Somebody said that Walmart Walmart got the Mate 10 on, on, on lock too. That's crazy. I, I went over to, when I was at CES, I visited um, Zizo Wireless. I went to the Zizo Wireless uh, booth, and I saw some of their new cases. You'll, you'll see them on my channel. Zizo Wireless got some new, some nice cases coming, man. They, they, they got this one case. I don't remember the name of it, but I should have taken some pictures of it. I don't know why I didn't take pictures of it. I was too busy sitting there chatting with him. Maybe that's why I didn't take pictures of it. But I got to tell you, man, shout out to Zizo Wireless. They got some good cases coming. They got some cases that they redid or made them. They got some, they reinvented some cases that they uh, had brought out. They brought a new version of it. 
I'm trying to shop for the Mate 10. Oh, he's right. Wow, they have they have it for like a hundred dollars more than eBay, but still, they do have it. Huawei has, I mean, Walmart has the Mate 10. Wow, that's crazy right there. Shout out to Technically T. I see you bouncing through real quick. Uh, Donald, I just wanted I just wanted the one they are selling in the U.S. Honest. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. I do that too, man. Sometimes I don't trust um, things that are coming from out. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, it could be it's a, it's a hassle sometimes. It's a hassle. I want. I, I hit Google, man. Um, I hit, I hit Google, and Google was giving out mini homes. Um, they were giving out Google Minis, Google Mini homes or whatever those little speakers. They were giving out the big ones, and uh, wow! I tell you, that line was so long. They were doing like these raffles and stuff. The line was so long, man. Unreal. You was not you were, you were not getting in there, bro. You was not getting in there. It just wasn't happening. Man, you can grab a Mi Mix 2 for five hundred dollars right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm looking for that Mate 10. I might I might end up rocking out with that Mate 10. I might I might do it. I might pull that trigger. I might do it. I might do it. That 2K display is calling me. Were you able to check out uh, Snaps and Streams? Oh, no. You know, I, I wasn't able to get over there, man. Um, uh, again, CES, man, it is such a madhouse. Um, it, it seems like it's real easy to navigate through CES, but it's totally... And you can navigate through there, uh, but it is a nightmare sometimes trying to roll around that place, man. It is, it is such a madhouse, man. It's it's unreal, it's unreal, and I can't even explain to you how hard it is. Sometimes it's so crowded, uh, but it's fun though. You just have to kind of patience. This year I paced myself, chatted with. I was the B roll that you saw, man. It was a full conversation going on <laughs> when I was recording that B roll. Like, uh huh, yeah, man, all right, yeah, I know, yeah. I'm just getting on my little angles, keep it moving, man. But some of the phones, I, I played with them before I did a lot of uh, recording, you know what I'm saying? So to really give you a good, see if I can tell you what my impressions were. But the fingerprint inside the um, screen, there's a, there's a company that's already bringing that out before Apple. What happens, I, what I think Apple does and Samsung does is they watch the quote-unquote non-existent or non, the people that are not important smartphone companies that are overseas or somewhere else. They get the technology and they try to beat them to the punch, or they look at what they're doing, and they try to do it before them. But the fingerprint under the screen, that's already been implemented, but nobody knows that company yet with that phone. All right, uh, Louis, take care. Or Luis. Uh, crazy to get a phone when it first comes out and it drops to 200 to 300 on swap in six months. Totally true, Michael. Totally true. Sometimes it drops faster than that. Go Vikings, man. Get out of here. No, I'm just saying. Respect. Respect. Uh, Jay, what do you recommend I get the, to me to get the S6 or the A3? I would rock with the A3. Better yet, I would rock with the Samsung A8, if you really want to know. Uh, Barbados. What's up, David? I see you. Appreciate it. Can anyone go to CES? Uh, you have to pay to get in at CES, man. Yeah. London, I see you. London in the house. Yeah, that BlackBerry Motion, I'm really ready to rock that out, man. I'm really ready to rock that out. You have no idea. I'm ready to rock with that doggone BlackBerry Motion. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Looking for some more comments. Taking care of some clowns at the same time. At CES, was there any Nokia phones? The new kit... 
They, they had um, the Nokia 8, uh, but I didn't get a chance to make it over there. Uh-oh, there go TK. What's going on, man? Me and TK hung out for a little bit when I first got there. We, we, went, we hit up the Huawei booth, stayed over there, hung out for about 30, 45 minutes. Looking for some more of your comments. Yeah, I appreciate that love from London, man. HCC is dropping. Um, man, Gadget Beer hit it. He hit that comment up, and now it's getting ready to talk about HTC. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy, man. Um, HTC, uh, I, I believe is getting ready to drop a twelve, the U twelve or something like that. I don't know if that's gonna be the official name. Don't make me lie to you. Um, but whatever it is, I think it's gonna be hot. I'm, I'm not even gonna front. I, I think it's gonna be hot. HCC is on a roll, you know what I mean. So they're they're in a they're in a place where they can really capitalize on the U11. They just need to make sure that they come with it when they do come with it. No half stepping. No half stepping. They better not half step. They can't. They can't afford to half step. Oh, somebody said I'm less than, am I? Am my subs or whatever? I appreciate the love, man. You know, I don't be, <laughs> I try, I, I pay attention to it, but I don't pay attention to it. Um, Let me see how many subs I got. Somebody said I'm less than 100 away. Wow. Man, I got like uh 82 more. Oh, no, 88 more. 88 more and I hit 60K, TK. TK told me, he said, man, you're going to be rolling up on 60,000 in any minute. I'm like, nah, but it, I got 59,912 right now. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate y'all keeping up with that, man. The U11i, uh, pretty much, I don't know, man. I have to get my hands on something like that. Which would you choose, 8 or 8 plus, or wait till the 8 S9 comes out? I will wait till the S9, but of those three, or of those two, I would take the S8 over the S8 plus. But if the S9 comes out, I might rock with the S9. Trenton, Orlando. Um, you talking about Trenton, New Jersey? You are you talking to him, man? Shoot. Anybody from Trenton? Yeah, I'm from Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. You already know. Uh, uh, is gear best? <laughs> I don't know, man. You should all you should get tracking. I mean, you got to give that like two or three days. It'll update. Sometimes it takes like three or four days for the tracking to update. I just got my tracking information for something that was supposed to come in, um, like. I, the shipment information came, but I didn't get a tracking number. I didn't get a tracking number until like three days later. So I don't know. But kind of, I don't. Know. I don't work for Gearbest. So I don't know. Just contact. That's been my experience though. But once it ships, boom, overnight and it's here. It's done. Uh, am I gonna look at the red phone? Good question, Andre. Andre Edwards, what's going on, man? Um, I think that's on on dear Andrea or something like that. Uh, yeah. I am I, no, I'm not. I'm not rocking with the red phone, man. That thing costs like twelve hundred dollars or fourteen hundred dollars. It's not that serious. Uh, yeah, it's just a phone. Nah, no way. I'm not saying it's a bad phone. It's just that I'm not giving it. I'm not giving them twelve hundred dollars. Nah, no way. <laughs> he said. James said, "Why don't we hold OEMs more accountable?" For not updating their phones. Only thing we can do is not buy the phones. You know what I'm saying? When they drop that price of five hundred dollars, don't buy it. Or they drop the price of a thousand dollars, just don't buy it. Just don't buy it. That's all that's all I can tell you. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. That's the only way we can stop it is um oh Dre, okay, all right, Dre. <laughs> um yeah. The only way we can stop it is to not buy. <laughs> you crazy, man. LaShawn is off the charts. Um, yay, the Xiaomi Mi Max. That's that's a hot joint. I got that joint upstairs. It's hot. That's a, that's a good look. That's a good look right there. 
Yeah, again, I didn't get a chance to um uh to you know go to the Xiaomi booth because they were over in the Venetian. If you've never been to to CES, whoever got the money, that's who get up on the main floor. Or, you know, to get the good spots, if you will. So um they were over in the Venetian, and I was like, I'm not going to no Venetian just to see Xiaomi, man. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nah. You got when you order from GearBest, man, you gotta flip that extra three dollars or four dollars or seven dollars or whatever it is. Just pay for express shipping, man. I saw the DJI booth. I looked at it. I didn't really. It was. Let me tell you something, Sean. It was so many drones out there. It was so many, so much drone coverage. It's ridiculous. I would have been. They had big nets set up. People flying drones indoors. It was crazy, man. I didn't even record all that. It was too much to get. <laughs> it was. It was too much, man. The drone coverage was off the charts. It really was. It was off the charts. Uh, tell us about your 12-inch MacBook. You mean my 13-inch 2017 MacBook? <laughs> Did you hear OEMs uh, purposely coming out of phones or Nugget and avoid pain? <laughs> wow, now I hear about that, man. That's crazy. I mean, that's the bad part about, or one of the bad parts about owning an Android phone is if you don't have a Nexus or some kind of company that's tied to Google like Android One, you stuck in a, you stuck in a rut. They gonna do what they want to do, man. You ain't gonna get them updates if you want them fast. Mm-mm. I already bought the twelve inch MacBook, man. I got rid of it already, and uh, I got a, a thirteen inch. I got two thirteen inches. Uh, iPhone is the only one, man, that's gonna get the updates. If it's not a Google Nexus or a company that's paired with Google and got a contract with Google or some kind of partnership with Google, you're not getting no. You're not getting no quick updates on 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 Android, man. You want quick updates? You can tolerate iOS, get an iPhone, or get a Nexus. Bird gang, <laughs> here he is. There he is. I see you, buddy. What are Android One phones? Android One phones are, are phones that are not offered in the, U- in the U.S. 10 Minutes Tech Reviews. Man, I love that name, dude. I need to jack that. You better trademark that, dude, because I'm messing around and jack that and start me a new channel. 10 minute tech reviews. You better you better <laughs> you better trademark that joint, man. Cause uh I'm gonna mess around and make that my second channel. 10 minute tech reviews. I love that name, man. Shout out to Anthony Flanagan. Uh, will you review the Elephone S9? I do have well, I won't say it right now, but I don't have the S9 coming, but I will probably get it. But I have some I have another new phone that just dropped. And then next week, I'll ha- remember the phone I was talking talking about. Where I said I'm taking it to CES, that phone didn't come before I went to CES, so I couldn't use it during CES. So I, I took the iPhone and another Android phone, but that phone is coming this week, and it's a world phone. So if you think I promoted the Xiaomi Mi A1, with well, shout out to everybody who was still buying it. What's up, BG Tech Life? I see you in the house. Um, this world phone has all the official bands: one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, all of the at twelve. It has all of the LTE bands. So, I will drop the and it's sweet too, man. I'm gonna drop that on y'all this week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it on there. Yeah, you'll love it. You will love it. Yes. Yeah. PG Tech Life in the house, y'all. Doing the doggone thing. Man, Roderick, they trying, man. The Eagles is they, you know. Foles gonna do all right, man, for what it is, you know. Uh <laughs> say smashing those wings. What's job, man? How long I've been at this, man? How long this thing been going? I can't see the I can't see how long I've been streaming. That's crazy. I don't I can't uh it doesn't show me. I'm ready to wreck this out of here, man. I'm tired. I'm getting tired. I gotta. Shout out to all those super chats in there, man. I appreciate it. What's going on with Blackberry, man? Well, I talked about Blackberry. Shout out to Kim. All right, Kim. I'll, I'll, I'll take care, man. Um, Blackberry, uh, I've been going for an hour. Man, God, Lee, that was a quick hour. Uh, I talked about Blackberry in, in, in about 20 minutes in, so. Hit that replay crew up. Shout out to that replay crew, man. 
Y'all guys rock out on that replay crew. I appreciate that. Can you tell us a, can you tell me why I, I just got rid of it, man? I don't I don't I'm not connected to I'm not attached to anything. If I want to swap out, I'm swapping out. So I, I bought the 12 inch, decided I didn't want it no more, got rid of it, and then I, I went to the Apple store and bought the new 2017 13 inch. And also we have the uh 20 we have the 2015 13 inch, which is really not going anywhere because it has all the ports. What's the biggest buzz at the show? Everybody was pumping up the Razor joint. That Razor, um, I got church tomorrow too, man. Michael Bird, shout out. That's what up, man. What time is it? Oh, it's only it's going on ten here. Yeah, um, but yeah, church for me too. I, obviously, I got church. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but um, the biggest buzz I think might have been that Razor, the Razor phone. Uh, with the laptop connection and all that, man. I just wasn't, I was excited about it, but I wasn't jumping up and down like everybody else. Like, oh, it was going crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh. But Sony, man, I'm telling you, I talked about Sony earlier. Sony brought the thunder at CES, man. Everybody was so happy that the new phones were, were there and they have fingerprint readers and new processors. They stepped away from using those other processors. No more MediaTek, they used the Snapdragon. Uh, no, I don't, I don't buy, I didn't buy the one with the touch bar because I hear a lot of people have problems with the touch bar. And plus, I won't even use the touch bar. I bought this 2017 MacBook Pro for on-the-go editing and live streams and stuff like that. Like, I want to sit downstairs and be on the internet. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the touch bar is hot, though. You know, it's not $500 hot, though. I'm not paying $500 more just for a touch bar for something I probably won't even use that much. The so yeah, the Sony XA2 Ultra, man. That thing was fire. It was... It was hot, man. I'm telling you, that thing was so nice. Everybody was, everybody, it was so many people up at the Sony booth. Like I said, I went over there three times. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that, that thing is hot, man. It, it, it was a good look. Sony had a lot of reps on hand to help. And um, it just, it was just good, man. It was a good experience at the Sony booth. It was a good experience like I had last year at the Huawei booth and in the, in the, in the, um, the Xiaomi booth. You know what I mean? It was, it was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. TK was there too. Sony, Sony, they bringing it, man. They, they, they did good. Only thing, like I said earlier, I don't like the pricing of the, of their new. Every year they're, they're, um, you know, they're pumping it up. You know, they're, they're raising that price, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. They, they slowly but surely jacking it up. It's going up, and there's nothing we can do about it either. Nothing. Shout out to Night Tech, man. He just dropped that Me Mix 2 video. I was checking it out earlier. I was like, I got a stream, though. All right, man. I, I do have church, too. So, um, hey, man, I appreciate everybody was in this that was in this live stream, man. I might do another live stream on Monday and uh, keep it geared up for all you Eagle haters. It's official. Stop hating. D dog on thing. Do you think the Xiaomi Mi is one of the top phones for 200 bucks? That was actually my top pick for 2017 for mid range. The Xiaomi Mi A1. Check that video out. Hey, shout out to LaShawn and all of the um all of the regulars that come through TK. I hang out with all y'all guys, man. Uh, I appreciate uh, everybody stopping through for a quick live stream. Totally, totally was uh, not planning on streaming. I just jumped on real quick. You know what I'm saying? I had to go ahead and celebrate. Had to celebrate. Don't hate. I might I might be rocking out with a one plus, man. Pretty soon. Man, you glad we beat the Falcons. We get to stay at home now. Four of six, get out of here with all that Saints mess, man. Nobody care about no Saints. The Saints better the Saints better hope they make it to this next round. Huh? Where Eric from Easy Computer Solutions at? I don't see y'all, man. Huh? The Saints better hope they make it past, man. Saints, man. Get out of here. They better hope they make it. They better hope they make it. What's going <laughs> All right, man. We're about to get out of here, man. Uh, who do Saints play next, man? Who do Saints play? Who do Saints? The Saints ain't doing nothing, man. Let me tell you something. If the Saints do get go anywhere, they're not going to get past the Steelers. That's for sure. 
They play the Vikings next. They you might you might Forbes man. You better you better hush that man. You 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 Forbes stop it man. The Saints got to be one of the luckiest teams in the last four games ever. Saints ain't ready man. The Saints got to get past the Vikings, and I think if they if the Steelers. It's going, oh, they're going to night tech. Don't please, everybody tell night tech the Giants lost a long time ago. <laughs> somebody tell, somebody tell night tech the, the Giants lost a long time ago. We don't want to talk about no Giants. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, I was just talking about night, shout out to night tech. We don't want to talk about no Giants, man. Get out of here with them Giants, man. Oh, man. <laughs> the Steelers going to take it, man. If, if the Eagles don't take it, I hope the Eagles take it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no hater. But if the Eagles decide to drop the ball, literally like they did today, twice, got capitalized on twice. They got 10 points from our fumbles. But if they decide to drop that ball, man, yo, call 911. The Steelers going to take that, man. I don't see no Saints taking nothing, man. Come on, man. Nah. Nah, man. LaShawn well, crazy, man. <laughs> 311. LaShawn <laughs> well, crazy, man. Yo. The, <laughs> what's the record of the Saints, man? I don't keep up with the Saints, man, because they ain't my team. What's the record of the Saints? I forgot the record. Let me see so. Current NFL ratings. Oh man. Eleven and five. Thanks, LaShawn. The Titans getting spanked right now by the Patriots. They ain't got they eleven and five or eleven and six. They whatever they are. They not fourteen and three. So but that don't mean nothing because after you, it don't matter how quick you get to the playoffs. You gotta start over once you get to the playoffs. You can get eliminated right away. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully the Saints make it past the, the, the Vikings. I hope they don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hope that Patriots and Saints, man, you really a fan, man. Go get Eric, man. He got you got you got some of y'all gassed up with them Saints, uh with them Saints shirts and stuff. Come on, man. If the Saints win, I will get you a cup of water. I FedEx you a I FedEx you a bottle of water. I'll fix you a bottle of water if the Saints win. Patriots, man. Patriots doing pretty good, actually. Not going to hate. Patriots doing pretty good. But, you know, if I had a fallback team, if if, 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 if the Eagles is here and I have a fallback team, it's going to be the Steelers. I'm falling back with the Steelers. You know, once once your team drop out, you got to root for somebody. And uh, I don't see us dropping out no time soon, but... Steelers got my bet, man. Steelers, that's my fallback team right there. Everybody got a fallback. You, you all got one. Whether you want to admit it or not, you got a fallback team. Like when your team get beat or fall out, you got to start cheering for somebody. You can't be no hater. You can't be all. You got to start cheering on somebody. Steelers, my fallback, but go birds. It's your man, Jay Will, man. Uh, CES was hot this year. I loved it. Shout out to ZTE once again for. Uh, taking care of me and, and getting us out there. It's a bunch of us that got out there. And uh, you got to show love where it's due, man. Respect to ZTE, the company. Uh, I review their products. They start looking at me. They say, hey, we like this guy. Let's, let's fly him out. Boom, that's, that, that's what it is. So I'm going to always show love for ZTE. They just need to keep bringing some. They need to give me my four gigs of RAM or my three gigs of RAM and my Z-Max. I'm going to need three gigs of RAM. Uh, slim them bezels down. I'll rock with a 1080p display as long as you keep it under $200. We done. It's a wrap. It's your man, Jay Will. I'll see you in the next video. Live stream.